Bill Keegan is a great man. He's one of Project Rebirth's board members, but he's also the founder of Heart 9-11. He was one of the first responders during the 9-11 attacks, and he has so much to offer Project Rebirth. I'm Bill Keegan. I'm a retired Port Authority Police Lieutenant. I served with the Port Authority Police Department for 20 years. On September 11, 2001, I was a lieutenant in the Special Operations Unit of the Port Authority Police Department. One of the um, brilliant things, I believe, about Project Rebirth and Heart 9-11's partnership with Columbia and Georgetown is that I can teach them. They can teach me the umbrellas under which I'm working. I'm giving them experiences. They're putting it into a context. And then they're saying, when these things happen, here's what you need to do. This is how you need to flag it. This is what this really means in a way that's been studied over and over in a scientific way that I couldn't possibly know about. So I see it, I flag it, but I don't know how to respond to it. Plus, the second critical, I think, aspect of the partnership between Heart 9-11 and Project Rebirth is this cop, fireman, construction worker will not listen to that professor. I can open that door because they will trust me. They'll see in me. They'll hear in my words. Okay, he's one of us. Here's what happened to me. And for some of those people, exactly what happened to me is going to resonate. Or maybe it's the firefighter talking about, you know, leaving the firehouse that morning and losing 14 of his guys and not being with them. Maybe, it, you know, it's the cop who found his partner dead. Maybe it's the construction worker who uncovered four or five bodies as he lifted an elevator up and he's never seen a dead body in his life. Maybe it's, it's the cop who lost his family over 9-11. And, he, and he, you have this group and one of those people are opening up their hearts, opening up their minds to receive what Georgetown and Columbia needs to teach them about how to deal with that through the conduit of Heart 9-11. That's the level of expertise that's necessary going in. And we can deliver that and transfer that knowledge to first responders, and then we could take the Project Rebirth information and transfer it. That's really going the extra mile.